Hi, is anybody there? <laughs> I'm walking around down Old Town Temecula, trying to find somewhere to sit down where I can do this. <laughs> There's all kinds of activity. It's actually not bad today. Here, it's like 10 degrees cooler than Canyon Lake. I forgot about that, you know, when I lived in Red Hawk. We always have this late afternoon breeze that's so amazing. We got music going on. I can't very well go do a reading over at the Beer and Wine Garden. Uh, although I'd probably get a ton of attention. <laughs> there used to be a cool place to sit there. Those people took the table there that I was thinking of. I suppose I could sit outside this jewelry store. I gotta tell you what I did. I might, I'm a little bit late, sorry. Hi, hi. Um, I'm gonna sit right here. So we can kind of like, I got a table, I'm in the shade. <laughs> I'll use the table as my, uh, I mean the other, ch other chair is my table. Um, so this is what's, this is what's going on down here. Um, if anybody has, hi there. Now if anybody has been to Old Town Temecula, actually I'll, I'll let you get, take a look down. I hope nobody will steal my purse and my stuff. It's cute down here. It's quite busy. Food, lots of alcohol, music everywhere. Okay, so um, what I was doing just now, it took me an hour, over an hour to get from Canyon Lake and to Temecula, which it should normally take 20 minutes. There's my little mermaid, see my little green car parked right out front? I hope that she starts again. I hope that that hour, maybe that's why Spirit did it. Maybe that hour was what I needed to, uh, it is a beautiful Saturday, isn't it? Maybe the, my mermaid needed that good long run to keep her, uh, her engine going. I listened to music all the way, got all kinds of messages and signs. Um, <laughs> I'm getting right now. Delivering locally grown organic produce to your door. That's a message to me and I am wanting that big time. So what I was just doing, um, I feel really um, energetically free right now, liberated and financially more prosperous because I was shown by spirit. We were doing this reading. Hi, we were doing this. We were doing this. I was doing a reading with spirit and I was getting that um, there was old energy that I, that I needed to release. And I said, I don't have anybody. I'm not holding on to anybody, you know, that I'm supposed to have released. And they said, no, there's something still that you need to, you know, go through your um, closets. I'm trying to move my little chair. There we go. Go through your closets, go through your cupboards. There's something. And so I was, um, it came about that I was looking for, um, I was looking for, I don't know, wrapping paper or something for my daughter's anniversary present. And I found a box and in the box was my wedding ring. And it was not a good wedding. <laughs> I, I paid for the ring. This is this is me. I've always been the money bags. I've always been the one that made the money, who paid for everything. I paid for his ring. I paid for my ring, and they were made and they were beautiful. They were tans. Mine was uh, I think his was too. Tanzanite, a big beautiful tanzanite and diamonds, and I just hawked it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's how much it mattered to me. I told myself in the car if they give me fifty bucks for it. I'll triple that in readings in the next few, you know, a couple weeks. So I won't have to worry about that on just that ring alone. So then I went through all of my stuff and because it's energy, energy is, um, you have energy from someone else. Those are cords, really powerful cords. And even, even with ones that we have, that we love, um, if you want to move forward in a relationship, you can't be holding on to personal items from a, from an old love. It's, it's energy. And that was not a good, that person molested my child. That was bad energy. That that my daughter needed that. My daughter needed that gone, and I didn't know it was in my room. Um. So it's gone. So that was like a huge. It, it'll be good for her too, and it almost makes me laugh that that it was so expensive. I mean, it was thousands of dollars, and I I gave it to Willie for hundred bucks. <laughs> um, and then I collected a, a bunch of other things. I don't wear gold. I, I wear silver. I don't even do platinum right i'm not an expensive girl i i just it does, silver looks good on me i'm i'm i you know i don't need white gold i don't need platinum I, i'm happy with what i have and all that stuff was gold you know gold used to be big you know when i was in high school i had all this stuff and um so there was a lot of stuff that was uh there was a few things actually that were my mother's and like gold chain i had at the same time the same marriage i had these um, angel earrings they were beautiful 
and they had diamond belly button rings and they had diamonds on their third eye. They were beautiful, but they were gold. Problem is they were done with the same person and I just wanted all the energy to be released. And then one of my mom's gold chains and so he went through it all and he says, well, give me a lump sum. And I said, and, and, and I asked, I threw my cards down and I said, should I get rid of mom's ring? And I heard, wait. And I thought, and so I pulled it out. And, but I ended up still getting $400 with just the, the stuff that I gave away. And I kept my mom's ring, which was thousands. This ring is fire opal and seed pearls. And it took my dad 10 years of their, you know, 10 years. This was one of the rings he bought her. He went and bought, um, he spent $10,000 on her <laughs> when he went. But this was one of the ones he got. And I thought, if I never wear this ring, this is my mom's ring. And I'm keeping it. So anyway, that's what I did. Um, and I'm sorry if I was a few minutes late. So uh, it feels good to have released that, right? It's good energy and I got some cash because I, I wasn't making any money when I was up there uh, doing my, uh, my quest because I had no Wi-Fi. So, and then Spirit says, you know, think about this. They said to me today, as far as energy and as far as, you know, things are stalled and getting things moving, clean out a closet, clean out a drawer. And I thought, oh my God, that, that box, it was in my car, the whole quest. I wonder if that was anything to do with the energy. I thought maybe I'd find a gold place, but and I don't even know if gold's high now or low. I don't think I got very much for, for, for um, cause I got stuff, I sold stuff before in Phoenix. When I was in Sedona and I was flat broke when I was on my spiritual journey there. And my friend said, you wanna go to Phoenix with me? Um, I'm gonna go take some gold in. And I thought, God, I wonder if I have anything. And I got a bunch of odds and sods and just junk that I never really wore. And I got $700 and I was just like, oh my God. So it saved me at that time. So I had this little ping on my light, you know, light go off and you know, I paid my rent today and um, I give away a lot of my time uh, and spirit wants me to do that, you know, but there's got to be a balance and I thought I'll get a little bit for me. So I got rid of it. I got some cash. Uh, I feel good. And now we're sitting in a really cool place. Can you hear the music? We've got a saxophone player serenading us. Hear it? It's cool. We've got background music. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, if it's what it is announced. I, all I know is when we went, what I, what I uh, got rid of in Phoenix that day was nothing compared to what I gave away today. And I got, you know, 700. But it was cool because, you know, I didn't expect to get anything. And, and literally, I was so angry, uh, not angry, but I'm so ready to release this ring, you know, and, and the energy of my daughter's gonna feel really good. I can't wait to tell her. I had to get talking to you guys first, so I wasn't able to call her and let her know. But um, she's gonna be pretty pleased with that. <laughs> really pleased with that um, so just that alone I laughed because I said to spirit if I get 50 bucks I'll give it away and he goes I'll give you 100 bucks and I'm like sold <laughs> also it made me think that if I ever do get married again I hope he doesn't go buy me a ring somewhere expensive because I'd rather get it at a pawn shop you have not in the rings that were in there and the jewelry that was in there beautiful why would you spend thousands of dollars here I am so thrifty I don't know because it's somebody else's energy in it so what clear it <laughs> you know okay I have no idea what that means. Okay, I told you guys that I would do five readings. Um, I think this is hysterical that I'm sitting right down here in Old Town. I've got my own little perch and we got music in the background and the weather is nice and it's breezy and I'm $400 richer and, 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 and thousands and thousands of dollars and massive negative energy lighter. Woo. Okay, so I need five people to say, I would like a reading please and then we'll start. So in the meantime, I'm gonna let you guys kind of listen. Enjoy the, I don't like, I don't like jazz. I'm not a jazz person, but some people might. Anyone talking? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, and because the, I'm a mermaid and because I drove my mermaid car, we're working with the mermaid deck. All right, Nancy and Sandy. So there's two. And Shane, three, four, Nita. One more, one more. Okay, Nancy, I'm gonna just start going. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna roll these cards out. And Anne, okay, that's it, we're up, we're done. So let's put, somebody type up, it's closed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my lap. I used to do this in Sedona when I was in my caves. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cards down on my lap. And this is how we, we're going to shuffle. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's your card because it literally flew out of the deck. Thank you. So, who are we doing this for? 
We're doing this for Nancy, right? Isn't this Nancy? I think. So you can clearly see what your message is. You haven't been expecting enough for yourself. Set your sides, set your sides higher. So increase your standards. We have an issue with that, don't we? Um, especially women do, but a lot of men do as well. For for accepting less for ourselves than we're worth, and it isn't just about um, it isn't just about um, money, or it just isn't isn't about um, relationship. It's about everything. It's about self worth. It's about um, respect. It's about I dropped my cards all over the ground. Sorry. I'll let you guys look around. <laughs> so. We don't, um, oh, I like walking, I like walking. Oh, and in the breeze, let's get the air. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it feels so good, it feels so good, it feels so good. I had to get out there and do that, that was fun. Okay, so um, set your sights higher. What, are, what is it that you're, that you're not, uh, there's so many things that, the, that it could be that you need to set your sights higher on. Um, the, the, the success that you have coming to you, um, what, you ex what you will accept or not accept in relationships, um, the way people treat you, um, what you give yourself. Um, there's a situation in your life, specifically. There's a situation in your life that you have been trying to rationalize. You've been trying to say that it, it's okay, you know, um, I, I would be happy if. I got this or if this happened and spirit saying that's not okay it's not okay the situation is not um, fair it isn't what you deserve um, you are to take yourself out of a situation where you're being robbed of, of your worth you're being robbed of what what you deserve um, also I'm looking at um, trying to understand what that means Sometimes we accept less for ourselves than a dog. I'm, I'm literally watching a man drive by with a dog sitting in the front seat of the car. And people treat their animals better than, than sometimes we accept how we are treated. Think about that. Think about how some people, think about how I spoil my animals, my God, even my fish. I hand, I baby, I baby my fish. I, I hand feed my cat. I mean, I, my cats, I, they're, they're not hot. They're kept where it's cool. They're, I mean, People treat their animals better than what than, than we deserve, and it's true for myself. I, I accept less for myself than I would give to my own animals. That's and, and that's that's disgusting. Um, and it's and it's uh, you should treat your animals the way I treat my animals, right? There are guardians, but we should also be treated the same way. So spirit wants you to take time to visualize what it is that you desire in your life. Um, don't worry about being disappointed because you deserve the best. We all deserve the best. We have to tell ourselves that. I think we don't get the best because we tell ourselves we're not worth it. And we tell ourselves we're not worth it by accepting less for ourselves. We, we teach people how to treat us um, and we tell the universe how we want to be treated. Um, I, I told the universe what I wanted and I got it. I got more than what I asked for. See, that's just an example. I, I could have asked, I probably could have asked for more, but in my mind I wanted to release it, just get rid of it. But, but that's the thing is, you, you, you tell what it is and allow heaven to help you, you know, spirit, our, our, our Father God, our mother help help it bring to us what it is that we are that we are deserving of and sometimes we feel like we're not ready or um, to move up to the next level um, we might feel I I intimidated moving up to a higher level maybe we don't feel that we are skilled enough qualified enough um, we, we, we judge ourselves by others and the thing is there is nobody like us there's only one there's only one of us and there's then we're very unique and Nobody can do anything better than we can do it. We all have our own unique individual way of doing it. So you may feel like you're at a plateau, but it, but Spirit says you're ready to move forward. Spirit says that you have the, the, what you need to move forward and, and, and the ability to manifest much more. Um, so you want, you, they want you as the, where is it? Let's see the card. I dropped all my cards, so, oh, there she is. She's on the bottom. Clearly, she's on the bottom. Think about that. That's a sad message, right? She's on the bottom. She should be on the top. So she's reaching for the stars. So it's kind of like when you get 111 and I say, make a wish, make a wish, because when you're making a wish, you're thinking positive. Reach for the stars, shoot for the stars. My mom used to, you know, what is that saying? Shoot for the stars and you'll, or shoot for the moon, you'll land in the stars. So shoot higher, shoot higher, ask for more. 
Um, not ask for more, expect more. Um, but the, what I like most about it is the very last little sentence, don't settle. I will never settle again, ever. I will not settle. Um, if we're talking in terms of relationship, I will never settle. I would rather go to my grave just doing this with you guys and be me and my cats than settle again for anything less than everything I deserve. And in a relationship in my life, if we're talking for other people, here's, here's whoa. What does that mean? Think about that. Ooh, hot. He was cute too. <laughs> I want to be passion. I want it on fire. It's going to be on fire. It's going to be on fire in all ways. It's going to be on fire mentally, physically, spiritually, sexually, emotionally, everything on fire. And if it's not on fire, I go solo. All right. So that, that's your message. <laughs> I like the fire truck. Oh, I love that. The fire truck. Okay. Who was next? <laughs> Who was next? Oh, how interesting. I said that that was for Nancy, but it was supposed to be for Sandy. Hmm. Interesting. Um, that's interesting. So, yeah. And I thought that was, I, I thought that was, so I did that for Nancy. So you get that, right? Okay. <laughs> that was yours. Because that's what I thought in my mind. So you know what? You guys can both take the message. All right. So the next one is, is Sandy. Okay. In my mind, that's that was for Nancy. So this is for Sandy. Ooh, I like, 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 like. Okay, alchemy. Alchemy, I like that. We'll put you down here with all the gold and the jewels on my skirt. So alchemy, you've got the Midas touch right now. I laugh at this. I laugh at this. Everything you have turns to gold. I just, I just sold a bunch of gold. <laughs> I love that. So this mermaid, she is like, she's got her seal pup right next to her. Do you know what a seal pup is? A, a, seal, uh, a seal is called a, um, an ocean puppy. So that's her loyal guardian, that's her, that's her love, that's her best friend, that's, that's um, whether that be spirit, her, her guardian angel, her partner, whatever it is, that's who's with her, her seal puppy, um, her, her ocean puppy. I love that. I have uh, an alchemy, so alchemy right now. So be it, be it in projects, be it in um, thought, be it in um, right now, and when, when spirit tells you this, you know, we all, we all need to have positive mindset, but when spirit tells us specific things for you, that's showing you specifically extra at this type, at this time, you're on a roll. Um, the energy, um, the energy that, that, that's with you at this moment is, brings, is, is there for, for heightened success. So it's more successful time for you right now. You have the ability to in, instantly manifest what you're thinking of, bring to you what it is that you're desiring. So be very, very careful with your thoughts right now. Super careful. Um, I tell my clients all the time, you know, when they get disappointed, I had a woman call today, she's a regular, and um, she was saying, you know, I'm getting real tired of this. She goes, I know he loves me, and I, and I know that this is supposed to happen. She goes, but he comes forward, and then he goes back, and she goes, I'm just getting real tired of this, and, and I'm just getting ready to move on. And I said, you know what? Are you in love with him? Yes. You know he's the love of your life? Yes. I said, then don't say things like that. I know that you're mad. I know that you're frustrated. I totally get how you feel. Believe me, I get it. Um, but don't say what you don't want to manifest. And especially you right now, don't say what you don't want to manifest because you're manifesting your thoughts instantly. We always do manifest, but right now, especially your energy is very, very high. Um, so just be, so, you know, just as you're capable of manifesting positive things in your life, you're, you're also capable of, of manifesting negative things. So like with her, I said, just start talking to him out loud from your heart. And I use myself for example, you know, I love you. I know that you, um, I, we're going to be together, period, straight up. I have no doubt in my mind. I know that you love me. Um, I'm excited about going camping. I'm excited about going hiking. I can see us, um, I can see your hand holding back, pulling me along the trail, laughing at me. I can see you splashing water at me in the canoe. I love traveling with the both of our cats. I, I love the RV you picked out. Talk like things like that are happening, and I, because that's what that's you're building your future. So talk about things like that. Um, clearly, you can tell that what I want is a partner because that's where my focus is. Um, I love to travel, and and I don't want to travel alone anymore. I will if I have to, but or maybe I'll just get my little RV and travel with my cat and dog. But no, I'm not saying that because that's not what I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting my partner to be with me, and I know he loves it too. So that's what you're supposed to do is speak like it's already there. And thank you so much, Father, Mother, for, for bringing, uniting us, bringing us together. It, um, this is the time of my life. 
I'm with my love of my life. Um, I'm, I'm spiritually reaching higher and higher, and together we grow, and blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is that, that's, that, that, you, is that you want to manifest, that's what you're going to speak about. It's so interesting how they're talking about how an alchemist is someone who can turn base metal into gold or silver. And I'm sitting right, I mean, what does that tell you? I'm sitting in front of a, of a goldsmith shop. I gotta see what the name of the shop is, just because. I mean, that's such a loud message that I chose to sit right here. <laughs> Jeweler, jewelry. Hold on, let's see the front. Gold, silver. It says gold, silver, and coins. And the message is, you have the ability to turn base metal into gold and silver. Hell yeah, I've got an entire shop right behind me. I've got a whole store filled with gold and silver behind me. You wanna talk about us manifesting? Um, I got the guy that just, I just sold the gold to just walked outside. He's like, what? Um, so basically, also, and I said to her, right now, you need to first, the first thing that we need to do is say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. I am grateful. Okay, but you know, but you say I'm grateful and the next second you're complaining. So thank you. So, so just start thanking. Oh, 222 just drove by on a license plate. 222. Everything is happening exactly as, 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 as it is meant to happen with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. That just drove by. So I thought I would throw that in there. It's part of your message because it's your message. It's all of our message. Um, but our gratitude is a tool for manifestation because the happier we are, the lighter our energy is, the more positive. When our energy is positive like this, when we're on fire, we draw fire trucks to us when we're on fire. I'm telling you, my energy is on fire. I drew a fire truck out. I'm straight up. My energy is just pumping. I, my intuition is like bam, bam, bam. Things are flying. And it's because I work on this daily. I wake up in the morning and I start reworking my mind. So when you wake up in the morning, something negative hits you, you start working. Whether you need to start writing down affirmations. I said to her, turn on the radio. Um, if the radio's not working and a song's negative. I had a song that came on because music really affects me. Like really affects me. And one of the songs came on and I said, I don't want to hear this anymore. I understand that's what happened. I don't want to hear this. It upsets me. So I turned it off and I went to YouTube and I purposely chose really uplifting, self-affirming, positive, happy, happy music. And it shifted my energy. Sh music shifts your energy. The people that you're around, the atmosphere, being outside shifts your energy. Us sitting here doing this outside. Spirit's going to bring us, you know, what we need to see. I, I, like I said, that car, that black truck right there, we will deliver organically grown, organic produce to your door. Think about that. Natural, healthy, good. It's going to be delivered to us. We don't have to go looking for it. Spirit's going to bring it to us. Um, God, there's so many things that fly. They, you know, and pay attention to the signs that are out there so that they, it boosts your confidence, so that you keep your, um, your alchemic, abilities high, right? Because spirit's showing you constantly all day long. The winds of change are happening right now. We've got wind blowing and it's a favorable wind. It's cool and it feels fantastic. It's a favorable wind moving in, in our direction. So they want you to affirm frequently. Um, thank you. Thank you for helping me focus my thoughts in the direction that I wish to go. Thank you for um, keeping me filled with joy and optimism and and keeping me connected to you um keeping me connected to the messages and and the animal messengers that that, that come I, I recognize that the ones that are coming to me are going to be exactly what i need when i need it i appreciate that thank you for being so intertwined in my life i want to be intertwined with spirit and with my brothers and sisters with with this whole united collective we are all one and we all build one another up so when when i'm feeling down please i i thank you thank you for connecting me with somebody else that that, that sends a message at just that moment. You know, I, I'll get a, it happens to me, I don't know about you guys, but for me it's morning. I wake up in the morning and that's probably why, because it's about setting my, my mood for the day and, and not wanting me to slip. Um, I'm watching, I don't know if it's going by on that U-Haul. U-Hauls are big for me when I'm driving. On that U-Haul there was a, um, a volcano and there was lava. So molten lava, it's, it's hot, it's on fire and it's moving and it's passion and it's, and it's good and it's rich. And nothing stops a volcano, right? So the good is like nothing's gonna stop it. There's just so many things that, that um, look for things like that. When you're driving along in the freeway, look at the animal messengers that are on the sides of the U-Hauls. I saw um, a bat. I tried to film it because I was going so damn slow on the freeway. And, it, and the song that was playing right now said, Welcome to the Jungle. And it said, it talked about bats. Remember how I said, I don't know if you guys saw it this morning, how, um, how, why I call my twin Batman? Because he feels his way through. 
and they talked about bats and their sonar and uh, I, I, that was a message to me there's my twin that's a message to me he's feeling what I'm saying the love that I'm pouring out that I'm I don't have to talk to him on the phone I want to but I don't have to for him to feel that energy so Pay attention to the confirmations, the messages that spirit brings you. This is all part of, of your ability to manifest. Um, this, this builds your alchemical abilities. Dang, that went on for a long time, didn't it? Okay, next. <laughs> Who's next? Um, whoo, Sandy Nancy, Shane, Shane's next. Okay. All right. I love doing this with you guys. It's my favorite. I am like such a huge communicator. I, I like interaction. You know, I don't like talking at people. That's why I, I, I prefer doing a one-on-one -on -one or I prefer doing a live reading. I don't, I don't want to video record it and, 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 and be alone. You know, I, I want to interact. I'm, I was called Sherry for a reason. I like to share. It doesn't have to be a lot of people, but don't ignore me. It's the worst thing in the world. I'm a spiritual teacher, so I'm doing like a reading. You don't mind me sitting out here doing that, do you? Okay. Just in case you're wondering who I'm talking to and why I'm filming myself. It's none of my business. I don't <laughs> care. Are you happy? I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm always happy. All right on. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I am sitting on their chairs though, so I did kind of have to ask. Okay. Shane. Shane. Oh, wow. You know what? There's a lot of this necessary right now. Th these messages that we have been getting so far are clearly for everyone because, um, the messages that I just got and the all of them, these are all connected. These are all about self-worth. These are all about um, setting our sights higher. It's all about what we think of ourselves because your card is worthiness. Know that you deserve good in all ways. Self-worth. This person, this little mermaid is looking down. She's holding on to her knees. And you know what's interesting about this card? I got to hold with my right hand. The full moon. So her, her, she, she's feeling the need to be loved, because the moon is is in, is the is the feminine energy. She needs love. She needs self love, and she needs to feel loved. And I'm getting emotional. She's hugging her knees. So sometimes we have to hug ourselves. I said today, I said today, you know, my little mermaid, my car. She's literally called the little mermaid. I'm gonna show you guys her when I'm done. She's, I love her. Um, that drive, car that I drive is a business car, it's for traveling, but this is my baby, this is me, that, that car is me. And uh, she's a classic. She's got a dent in the back, little one, I just did it. Brand new paint job, little dent in the back, right end, because I wasn't seeing what was coming from behind, I got blindsided, think about that. I was backing up and not, didn't see what was there. So um, this is all for you too, pay attention. Um, she's got a tear in her convertible top, she needs a, she needs a new top. <laughs> I've got some tears here too, um, but she's beautiful and she's only 100,000 original miles and she drives like a dream and she's sexy as fuck. <laughs> she is. Excuse my French. Um, so that little mermaid, even though I bought her a brand new battery and she was all ready to go, she was ignored. She was sat in that car parking lot, not driven for such a long time because I went on two quests, one after another. I went on the one quest and then I, I was home for what? Like a week? I don't even think I was home for a week and I turned around and I left again. So with her brand new battery, she sat there being ignored and she's, she's dead. You can't expect life to come into something if you don't charge it, right? So we need, she needed to be self-charged and I thought, she represents me. I feel ignored, I felt ignored and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you to take care of me. I'm not gonna sit here and, and wait for someone else to make me feel like I was worth something. I was gonna take myself out for a spin in my beautiful little car on a beautiful sunny day like this and enjoy myself, get some cash, release some shitty energy and enjoy myself the spirit told me that I've been too isolated this is for you too um, you're not gonna get uh, you're not gonna feel loved or you're not gonna feel the connection if you keep yourself isolated and away from other people um, spirit said get out so for you um, self-worth there's an issue with self-worth you've been blocking your manifestation you've been blocking your manifestation due to deep-seated beliefs that you don't think you deserve it. Now, you may think that's not true, but on a subconscious level, it, it is true. And it could be a past conditioning from a past life. It could be just like what I just had. That ring that I just got rid of was from an abusive person. And that was a really negative, very extremely painful. That, was a, that person was my best friend. 
and he betrayed me. Betrayed me in the worst, most cruel, vicious way. And that energy was in my house. So that blocked me. I needed to release that. So think about things like this. There's something that it's in your self-conscious, something from your life, from your past. Maybe it's just negative thinking. Um, you know, you tell yourself something positive and then you turn around and say something negative right afterwards. Whatever it is, you have been blocking your manifestation because of your thoughts or your beliefs or your actions. Um, like I said, you can say something positive, but then you can completely undo it by saying something negative right afterwards. A lot of times people don't realize what they, the words that they speak. Um, I do it all the time. Like I just said, I've got some cracks in my face. I gotta stop saying things like that. The bags under my eyes. We've all got bags under our eyes when we don't sleep, right? You know what? You know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. It's not that bright in here. Um, I cover up my eyes a lot because they're very sensitive. But I also was covering them up because I was embarrassed because I had these big black circles under my eyes because I've had so little sleep. And I thought to myself, um, here's an example for you too. Uh, I was up at that, uh, where was I, Boulder Creek? And uh, I was talking to this person and when, when you're hiding, whether you're behind your glasses or you're in your house or you're, you're um, this, this is a way of hiding, right? For me, it, it, it hides, it makes me feel safe behind my glasses. But it also makes people not trust you. If, if you can't read my eyes or you can't see who I am or what's going on or the life in me, I'm just a, a blank face. I'm just a mask, right? So it, they're asking you to reveal who you really are, allow the real you to come out. And when I, I saw this man that I was having an issue with, he, he, I don't know what his problem was, the guy at the, at, the, at the park, he ended up being really nice to me, but I thought to myself, I'm going to take my glasses off. He needs to see me. He needs to see my eyes. He needs to see that my eyes have wrinkles in the corner because they're laugh lines. These are laugh lines. I'm a very happy person. I want him to see the light in my eyes. And also I'm a light worker. And when you see my eyes, you can see that I'm coming from a positive place. Somebody that hides their eyes and doesn't let you see them, you're not trustworthy. I took my glasses off and his attitude shifted. He's like, wow. First of all, I saw my eyes and he's like, wow. And he could see me and, and I thought, you know what, I'm looking at you in the eye. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. I'm not trying to be, I'm, I'm letting you see who I truly am. I'm vulnerable, I'm open, I'm here um, and, I'm, and I'm present. So for you, allow people to see you for who you truly are. Don't hide um, because it's a way of, um, that's kind of like showing you that, that you don't feel you're worthy of being seen. There's something wrong. What are you hiding? What, what, are, what, what is going on? Now, I'm sorry, I gotta put my glasses on for a second because I've got um, prescription lenses in and, and, I'm, and I have to look at something. I just got binged on something. Hold on. Okay, so another way, and, and this, is, this is something that, um, I, I don't like to do the gender thing, but it's true. Women mostly have a problem with this, although I, I will say men do have a problem with this. Another thing about worthiness is not allowing the universe to give to you or not allowing people to give to you or not allowing yourself to receive. Giving too much. And, and that's why spirit puts a kibosh on me. They're like, stop working. Stop doing that. If, um, because you're telling the universe that you don't deserve help. You're, you could be sitting there saying, God, I can't pay my bills. I'm freaking broke. And so you work, 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 work. But Spirit's saying, you need to stop working right now, Sherry. You need to go for a drive. You need to go have fun. You need to go play. But I need to work. No, you need to stop. When Spirit tells you to stop, that's you caring for yourself. That's you recognizing that you deserve to have fun too. You don't have to work all the time. You're showing the universe, I deserve to receive. I deserve to have fun. I deserve to play. And when you do that, you're, you're balancing things energetically with the universe. And then you start having things flow to you. Um, I find that when I stop struggling so much with my work, all of a sudden I get readings, people call. You know, I know I'm good at what I do. I'm very connected. I have studied for a very long time. I'm very, very good at what I do. And the only reason I wouldn't be busy with my readings is because I'm holding on too tight or I'm feeling like I have to fight for it, you know? I don't have to fight for it. Spirit knows what I need. Spirit knows what you need. They'll bring it to you. You just need to know you're worth it. You need to know that you don't have to struggle. You don't have to claw your way through life. Life is not supposed to be hard. We have lessons at times, yes but we deserve to have good. So worthiness has a lot to do with accepting your help from others, accepting gifts. Very hard for me to accept gifts, has been my whole life, but I'm allowing myself to do it now. Compliments, oh my God, my whole life, could not accept a compliment, could not. It was, it, it was, I was raised to be so incredibly humble. 
that it embarrassed me if people complimented. I didn't know what to do. I, I literally would look away, I'd look down. I still have a hard time with it. Um, and one time, my dad used to compliment me all the time, but it made me very uncomfortable. I wasn't used to it. He was my stepdad. I didn't have a dad until I was eight. And all of a sudden, there was this man I was kind of awkward with, uncomfortable, and, and, I, and I felt weird, you know? And, and he would compliment me, and I didn't believe what he said anyway, and because I had such a low self-esteem. And uh, I was, it was hard. And finally, one day, he said to me, you know what, Sherry? He goes, that's, he goes, when somebody compliments you, and you don't accept that compliment, it's like spitting in their face. And I thought, I, I thought the exact opposite. I felt I was being humble. There's a, there's a fine line between being prideful and being, and, and, and being humble. We are all divine beings. We all deserve love. We all deserve appreciation and affection and compliments and thanks and help. Um, it's just that we have to balance that out with giving that too. So for you, this is important, all of this stuff, because the, what the issue is they're saying for you is you have a problem with this. You have a problem with thinking maybe you don't deserve it or maybe not allowing yourself. Maybe you're giving too much. Maybe you got to sit back and allow somebody to give to you. You know, with my kids in the house, I'm a complete neat freak I, and I raised my stepdaughter um, and I, I was on those kids. My ex-husband was very, very clean too. And um, when it was time to have them do work, <laughs> Kendra was like, you know, she didn't do it the way I did it, right? So I'd, I'd be like, you know what, just forget it, I'll do it myself. I did that for a long time and finally I realized, you know what, she's never gonna do it the way you do it. And, and so now for the mothers or fathers, or we're talking about at work or we're talking at home. I use an example of home because everyone can relate. They're never gonna do it the way you do it but let them do it, let them do it. It doesn't have to be perfectly done. And, and if you let them do it, you're showing the universe that you're allowing yourself to receive. And yes, I enjoy having people help. And now those two kids are the cleanest, neatest children. Their homes are immaculate. They drive everybody crazy because of me and, and, and hating me while I was raising them, loving me now. My daughter's husband is like, oh, thank you God that you raised her that way because he's the same. And also raised that way then that you draw somebody like that to you as well. So. Anyway, that's your message. There was a bunch of messages in there. Um, the stuff that comes out, there, there's, there's reasons, and I think it has to do with a lot of other people than just you. So that's why I just kind of let it roll whenever Spirit has things to say. So that's your message. I'm putting my glasses back on because i got to see where we're at. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Someone said I have beautiful eyes. Hi, Mohawk. Okay. Um, where are we at? Jan. We are at Nita. Oh good, be my, be my, okay, thank you so much. Okay, my arm is killing me. I'm gonna let you guys look around for a second while I shuffle because my arm is so sore. That's another message. I have to be careful with that. You have to be careful with that. When I say things like that, my arm is killing me. Well, is that gonna make my arm feel better? No, it's gonna make my arm continue to hurt, right? So I'm going to give my arm a rest. So that's it, we gotta kinda think about um, saying what we have to say in a different way. Right? Getting our message across in a different way. It's a more delicate, more, um, uh, it's just a correct way of doing things without attacking ourselves or without bringing more pain upon ourselves, right? Like, um, I'm sick and tired of this. That was what I heard my whole life. I'm sick and tired of this. Well, guess what you're going to get? Sick and tired. Um, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm so tired. Oh my God, I've got huge big black circles under my eyes. Really? Well, they're not going to go anywhere with you talking to your body like that, right? I enjoy firm, fresh, supple skin and bright, clear eyes <laughs> and healthy hair and nails and everything. Whatever you want, you enjoy it and say you, thank you so much for it. Okay. Look at the, I'm going to let you look at the people strolling by because I've got the cars all upside down. They're walking their dogs. You know what I've noticed recently? I don't know where you guys live, but in California. Actually, you know what? In Minnesota, too. I just saw somebody. That whole Don Johnson thing is coming back. Now that I sold my gold, it's probably going to come back in style. Not that I like it, but I'm, I know the guy out there walking, he's got pink shorts on and the other guy's got peach shorts on and it might be a California thing, but they, the guy was wearing it in uh, Minnesota too the other day and I thought, wow, that's a trip. Everything comes back around, right? It's like full circle. Look at that. The guy's wearing a flag. <laughs> it's fun to people watch. I like to people watch. I like to kind of be up here away from everybody and then looking at everybody, not being in amongst them. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I got this a few minutes ago. This is interesting. So, Nita, this little mermaid has got some, some idea, um, a thought, a plan, uh, an intention, or 
uh, something that you were thinking of doing, saying, uh, whatever. And uh, like in, inside there, I was saying, should I sell my mom's ring? And I, and I got, and this is the message I got, wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Now the message with this is, now look at her, she's waiting. It's kind of like that, uh, uh, that the girl that I spoke to this morning, that she's just like, ah, you know what, I'm getting done with this. This guy is just snail, it's just not going anywhere. Blah, 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 I'm ready to move on. Wait, because when it says wait, there's new information pending. There's information coming that may cause you to change your plans or go in a different direction. Um, it could be saying, uh, they're not saying no, they're saying that there's, there's, a, there's a window of opportunity coming that if you, if you move now on it, you're gonna miss that one. And it's coming up shortly. So whatever it is that, you're, that you were waiting for, I mean, she's sitting here hanging off the side of this couch, like she's over it. I'm over it, right? I wanna get going. There's a song right now playing, um, I wanna go where she, where she goes. Um, she, I think about her and she knows it. She's, she, she's not afraid. She's not ever, she's not afraid. Um, she says, what is the song? She, she says, just picture everybody naked. And the next one is, she's not really into waiting, not really into hesitation. <laughs> That's me. So this is the girl. She's like twiddling her thumbs going, okay, I'm over this, right? But they're saying it's, and look at the look on her face. That's the, really the look on the face is like, really, I'm over this. But they're saying it's not, not long because they're saying there's a window of opportunity coming. Um, and you'll know, you'll know. We, we always know when it's right. Like in the, inside there, I knew that, that that one ring was out. Um, I was kind of, my heart kind of clenched. I got kind of a clench in my heart when I let the angels go. And it was just, I think, because it was angels. They were so beautiful. Um, and the thing is, I had all of those things made. I, I, I created them, so a part of me left right then. But I had no hesitation when it came to get, like, getting rid of that one ring. And then when I saw my mother's ring, something said, wait. You know it, it, when it's time to move, and you know if there's a hesitation. If there's a hesitation, wait. But if spirit is telling you wait, sometimes they say go ahead, you know, just, just keep moving forward. Um, and and if, there is a, if, if there's going to be course correction, they'll let you know. Well, that's what they're doing right now. They're saying that there is something that you want and you're wanting, and, and they're asking you just to wait a second. Um, it's very important to make sure that, that everything, that your body feels calm and even when you, when you move, right? When you make the move, um, you're on the verge of receiving some very important information. Um, it's, and it's going to alter the course of action that you were planning on taking. Um, and it's going to lead you well, clearly it's going to lead you in a better direction because spirit wouldn't tell you to stop if, if, if they, if, 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 if moving forward was the best thing, <laughs> they're telling you, no, don't move forward right now because something, something really good is about to happen and it's going to make things turn out much better than, than if you had chosen on your own. So you're going to say to spirit, this is the, this is the big one for the Aries people, the, the, the women who, uh, and the men who are go-getters, who, who aren't into hesitation, who don't like to wait. This is when we say to spirit, I have infinite patience. Um, I am divinely directed and I am, I am divinely directed and I'm in the right place at the right time. I meet the right people, the right circumstances come to me, the right information comes just when I need it. I'm in the right place at the right time because I'm divinely guided. This is what you're gonna say. Oh God, no, no. Oh, oh, the gold ring? My daughter doesn't wear gold. My daughter, um, well, she'd wear it more than me, but I, I gave her her dad's uh, ring, the ring her dad. Uh, I gave her that. She doesn't. There's something about those. Um, I have to. Sh did I show it to you? Oh, I put it away. There's something about that ring. There's something special about that ring. Um, it, it's it, it's connected to my twin and I because it's fire opals, like the fire truck that went by. It's the passion, the fire opals, and the seed pearls are from the ocean. Uh, the, the, they're um, obviously the seed pearls, but it looks to me like a. Um, there, there's something about that, that that's going to come to me, but there's some, that's why they're wanting me to wait. There's something that's coming about that ring. No, we're not too impatient. We're not too impatient. <laughs> Perry's. <laughs> no, my mom told me to sell it. My mom said, I have things here that you can sell. That's what, when I was having trouble with money, she says, I left you things, you know, take it down. Don't, oh, you know what I heard in my dream? Don't you have a ring you can sell? And I thought, wow. Oh, but it wasn't her ring. It was that ring. Oh, that's so funny. And look at when I said that. 
fire truck. What's interesting is there's a girl in that fire truck and she's not, she's not a fire truck person. She's sitting right there, the little blonde. She was riding along with that hot fireman. Ooh, <laughs> that's a message. <laughs> okay, so that's your message. I don't know where we're at. Where are we at? Where are we at? Nita, Shane. Who's next? Anne? Okay. Anne. I hope my car starts when I leave. My car will start when I leave. If not, I've got jumper cables. It's such a cute little car. God, I love that car. You know, when I got home from my, my quest, I'm shuffling right while I'm doing this. Um, that my, my, my stepfather that bought that, that car, he's you know, gazillions of dollars. He's a multi-gazillionaire. And uh, it was kind of like um, blood money, that car that he bought me. It's a terrible thing to say, but it is actually. It was a guilt, it was a guilt gift. Um, I know he wanted to do it. A part of him really, really wanted to do it because he's got a really beautiful, wonderful side. But um, a, a big part of it was a guilt part. And uh, he wouldn't let me have what I needed. He wanted to control everything. And, and it made my trip um, a little awkward. You know, if I'd had the kind of vehicle that I needed, I could do things a lot better. But um, he got really good gas mileage. And it has a really great stereo. You know, and I'm trying to think of all the wonderful things. And, and I'm grateful. I'm not, I'm not I'm grateful for it. But when I got back from my trip, I washed it. You know, it looks like brand new. I'm still thinking I should trade it in on a truck. But I'm supposed to wait for my twin. He knows all about cars. And uh, I want him to do it. But um, I started to, wa I washed it. And, and it's like, it's like pristine. And because uh, I'm so, you know, so persnickety. And then I started to wash my little mermaid. And, and I got to tell you, as I was washing it, even though she's, you know, she's 1998. 1998, she's got a little ding in the back. Convertible tops ripped. She looks real sexy sitting there with her top down, right? Any girl looks sexy with her top down. <laughs> she looks really cute, but when she's got her top up, she looks a little ragged. And, uh, oh, that says something about me. Ugh. Um, but I gotta tell you, as I washed her and, and uh, vacuumed her out, actually, the inside was pretty clean already. It was just the outside. There was cobwebs all over the wheels. And, uh, oh, look at my, look at the, look at the sea walrus. The walrus. Oh, I've got to ask. Okay, when I get off, we're going to do Walrus Totem because that's a message for you specifically, all of you, and for, it's for all of us because I haven't even got the card yet for the next person. Um, but as I would, as I took care of my little girl, I was taking care of me, right? That's me. That's the, that's myself that I was loving. And as I walked around, I said, without really thinking, out loud, I said, God, I love this car. Seven times I said it. Seven, you're on the right path. Seven on the right path, it doesn't just mean you're on the right path. It means your, your, um, things will exceed what you were expecting. Your, it does, your outcome will exceed what you're expecting. But seven times I said, God, I love this car. God, I love this car. And I thought, and I, and I started, to, and as I was taking care of it, I realized I was talking about me. And I said the same thing. I know I'm talking about me. I, I have been ignored. I have been left to sit. I lost my energy. I, I needed a boost and I needed to do it for myself because you're going to sit around waiting for somebody else to do it. You're going to sit till you're old and gray. You know, love yourself. So w if we can say that we love our dog and we love our cat, you know how many times a day I say, t tell Lily and Liger I love them and Panu, my fish and, and, and Merlin. And, and I know that they're aspects of me, but I have to think to myself, I got to say that out loud to me too. I am proud of you, Sherry. I love you, Sherry. You got beautiful eyes, Sherry. I love your hair. You know? Being short's cute. You know, think of all the things that are maybe a negative and put a positive spin on it. <laughs> okay. Do that for ourselves. We gotta do it for ourselves. If we can tell an inanimate object that we love it, we can tell ourselves we love ourselves, right? And tell someone else that you love them. My favorite saying, which I made up, it's my coined up phrase. It's always right to tell someone you love them. It's always right to tell someone you love them. And a true friend never goes away. So don't hold back your love. Tell people that you love them. It's important. Okay. Here we go, Anne. I'm a chatty Kathy today, aren't I? Jeez. Oh, love this one. Healing heart. You are a powerful healer. Keep up the good work. 
and you see a mother and a child and there's a little bluebird of happiness pe peeking out over the shoulder of the child the waters are calm emotional waters so that's that's a really ni nice message from spirit that you are a healer that you that with your kindness and your and your and and just the way that you are you're helping people and they're asking and, and they're giving you they're giving you a high five this is spirit thanking you i like that you know we're always thanking spirit but but it's pretty cool for spirit to say thank you back because when you're a healer when you're doing things like this for other people rock on dude I loathe loud motorcycles. I hope my twin does not want a loud motorcycle because that loud noise instantly makes me angry. Something about the loud noise upsets me. It just does. <laughs> I know they're fun to ride around on, but not one loud, loud, loud like that, please. Um, so what they're saying is, you might have been, um, maybe you've been getting messages from other people that that you are a healer and that maybe you maybe you need to do something more with it. I'm not sure what you do for your work, I got the Wheel of Fortune right on. I got that earlier for myself. Thank you. Um, but maybe other people have been saying to you that, God, the, you know, the words that you're saying are really is really helping me. Pay attention when people say things like that to you because it really matters. If they're, they're, if they're going to get to the place where they're going to say those words to you, it, they mean it. And you need to hear it. And if somebody's coming to you and saying it, you do need to hear it. They wouldn't be coming to you if, if you didn't need that, that energy. You didn't need that boost. So it, it, when people tell you that you've helped them, believe it. And, 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 and accept that. And, and when they say thank you, you say you're welcome. It was so hard for me my whole life to say you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. You know, or um, thank you. Or um, if somebody says, how about this one? When somebody says, I'm sorry. And, and what was the first thing that, that I said my entire life? It's okay, don't worry about it. Wrong. When somebody comes to you, it's difficult. Uh, it's not difficult for me to say I'm sorry. I don't have a problem with that. But for some people, it's hard to say the words I'm sorry. And, oh, I'm getting a total clench in my stomach, and I don't know who it is. Somebody wants to say they're sorry right now, and it's really hard for them. They don't feel like they're going to be forgiven. And i got to tell you that if it has anything to do with me, you're already forgiven. Because if somebody goes to the place where they say they're sorry to you, that takes a lot for some people and it's a it's it's a very humble loving act so you tell them thank you all you have to say is thank you you know and maybe they really hurt you but if they're saying they're sorry thank you for that I appreciate that you know so that heals you and heals them both um, you're being asked at this time to go on a negativity diet diet that will help you with healing maybe yourself um, at this time, so we talked about that, the negativity diet. Um, you're being asked to, the, the reason that, the, that you're, you're being asked to watch your words and, and, and go on a negativity diet is because you, you're, you're ascending. And you need to be on a, on a pure frequency, a clearer, cleaner, uh, more positive, a light frequency in order to accept the downloads that are coming to you and ascend higher. Um, and when you do that, when you're able to purify your thoughts and, 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 and extend, exude this positive energy, you will draw more of that towards yourself. But it's not only just about you. When you are uh, exuding that, you are infecting, infecting other people with awesome energy. And you don't even recognize. You, you can just walk by. Um, there's a little video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, there's probably several. When, when somebody does something and, and, and the ripple effect, and you don't even know, but you can walk by and I can feel a wave of energy. You can feel a wave of negative energy, you can feel a wave of anger, you can feel, feel a wave of love, you can feel... So, so when, when that Standing Rock thing was going on, my old roommate wanted me to go with her to Standing Rock. And it was freezing and it was going to cost a fortune for us to drive. We didn't have a vehicle to stay in. And my stepfather said to me, what are you, what are you ridiculous? What, what good is it? two single women? He, what he said was, what, what are two white women going to do of help there? Really? And I thought, I thought about that, and it wasn't a good way to put it, and I don't know what it had to do with being white, but um, I thought about that, and I thought, you know what? It's going to cost me a fortune to get there. What will affect everything is love, the energy of my love. So if I will focus my energy, go into meditation, and, and pull from all of the connective around the planet and focus my energy and see that wave of love 
to push the forces back. And that's what we did. So many of us got together and, and the next day is when they stood down. The wave of love is felt. That's why my, my, my twin is Batman. And that's why I'm, I'm Batgirl. <laughs> because we send our waves love. We feel, our, uh, we feel each other's love more than the words are expressed. Um, and an example, I'm sure you guys probably have felt this. Um, my twin was gone. I don't know where he was gone. He was just gone. And, and I wrote to him and I said, Are, did you just come back to town? I, I, feel, I feel like you're close to me. And he said, I just got back tonight. I was in the mountains. And I felt his energy. I, because the love and the connection is strong. So you can send this vibrational frequency out, this feeling of love. I can feel you guys when I'm talking to you and when, I, when, when messages come up and, and I say certain things and I, and I know that it affects your energy, I'll, I'll get a wave. Like I got a clench in my chest. Somebody is watching this reading that wants to apologize and they're feeling really, really, it, it, their heart is hurting um, and they need to be reassured that they are forgiven and that, that a healing has, has already taken place. And, and just the fact that they want things better, just the fact that they want to say that they're sorry, there's already a healing taking place. So we have to be really, really careful about um, the, the thoughts that we think, the words that we say, and, and don't underestimate the power that we have to affect other people. Um, I can walk into a small shop and change the energy in there just like that. I can walk, I, I've done it at my work. I, I mean, I've, I've shifted the whole shop's energy. And, a, and my boss said to me, I don't know what you're doing. I know it's you, I don't know what you're doing, but just keep doing it because the energy in the shop has never been like, like this. We had clients saying, this, this shop has got such positive energy. And we all started, everybody started working together. It, it, there were people that, that, were, that were against one another and everybody started, it took a little while. It doesn't happen overnight. It took a little while, but pretty soon we were working like co cogs in a wheel. We were all working in unison. The energy was just high, happy, and it wasn't work. It was playtime when we would go to work. It was awesome. So we, we can do that. We all have the power to do that. So if you're in a situation um, and, and you feel like it's stagnating or it's not moving forward, and you, why is this not happening? Why is this not happening? Boo, boo, boo. Because you're doing that. You're slowing it down by your crying, by your sad, by your, by your frustration, by your anger. If you could focus it in a positive, um, healing, loving um, a way, like when we get these messages showing what's coming, the Spirit's giving us a clue about what's coming ahead, we have confidence in that. We have trust in that. I will say, no matter what crappy song comes to me, no matter the fact that we're in the middle of July now, and I can't even believe that we're already in July, and I have not got my arms around my twin physically, it blows my mind. I never thought it would go this long. I know that, that it will happen. I trust that it will. I, 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 I have trust and faith in that. And so the energy, that energy, that strength will, will pull to us what it is that Spirit is promising us. So if we need to have confirmation on, on whatever it is uh, in order to keep our, 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 our energy up high and, and our healing hearts moving forward, then we ask for that confirmation. Please give me a sign. Um, I want signs daily, all day long, confirmation that I am still on the right path. And yes, this is still happening, that somebody's free will hasn't changed. And, and this is still moving in this direction because there is free will. Um, and then if I have that to hold on to, I, no matter what the outside circumstances may appear, I know that's happening and my energy can bring it to me quicker. It's the same with you. Um, and, and also spirit is saying that they want to support us. They want to support your healing work. They, they want things to work out well. So you're not doing this alone. You've got a team. You've got your divine team. You've got your, your own personal self, higher self, over soul, all the way up, 15 layers, all the way up to, to where you came in. And then you've got the archangels. And then you've got the father, mother. You've got all of that. We've got all of our spiritual team. Um, people on, on Facebook will often say, you know, someone will put out a sad line or whatever. God, I feel like shit or I feel I'm just really down. Instantly, boom, boom, boom. Everybody's on it right away don't say that it's okay you're here you know we love you we've got your back just take it easy blah 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 you know sometimes people just need to know that there's somebody else out there that 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 hears them you know that, that they're heard because there's a lot of people that are not in places where where they have communication with others so it gets it gives them a shot in the arm so spirit is here and, and wants to assist you in this healing all of us um, they also want to assist you in in, in, in your education further so Maybe there might be something opening up for you as far as your healing. Uh, and I don't know what it is. Um, it might be. It might be like for me. Um, I'm a healer. I, I'm a Reiki master. I'm a life coach. I'm a dream analyst. 
um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't like saying the word psychic. I just don't like that word. I'm an intuitive. I'm a channel. I'm a medium. I don't like the word psychic for some reason. I have to ask, ask myself why. I think it's because it has to do, maybe my, my religious upbringing and it has to do with uh, psychic is um, just people have a negative connotation a lot of times with psychic, so I don't like that word. But spirit wants me to use my gifts. They want you to use your gifts. And so this is my work. This is how I make a living because spirit wanted me to throw away my career. I, I was a stylist for I don't even know how many years, 30 years. I was a hairstylist. I'm really good at what I do. And I was pushed out of it, literally by spirit. They said, that's it, out, get out. And, and, I, and I, I, I was scared and they pushed me out. They wanted me to embrace my spiritual work 100% fully. So I have. And so I rely on spirit to help me. I need my, for my bills to be paid, for, for, for my life to be comfortable so that I can travel, so I can help people, so that I can do this and st sit here and spend time with you guys freely giving to you. Because that's what I really want to do is I want to do this freely. But I must, but money is energy, right? And energy, and, and we need, it's a currency that we need to, to use in this system of things. If we could do a barter, barter system, and I believe we will be going to that, that'll be great. But in this time period, I still have a phone bill, a gas bill, food bill, you know, I don't even have insurance. So Spirit will have to take care of that. If they want me to continue to do this work, they're going to have to support my work so that I can support everyone else, right? It's, it, and, and, and they want to. Spirit is saying, we want to do that. So trust us. So when we tell you that, to go ahead and relax, when we tell you, Sherry, go on a quest, there's reasons you need to go. Yeah, but the money's tight, Father. Go. Oh, God, I just got a clench. But the money's tight, Father. Go. I want you to go. You need to go. Okay, but it's getting really low, Dad. It's going to be okay, little girl. I love you. I'm here for you. I'm going to take care of you. You think I would let you fall? I may not make you a millionaire, but I will never let you fall. I got you wrapped in my arms, and you're going to be helped all the way. If we have a relationship like that with our mother, father, imagine your own child. Don't you take care of your kids? Would you let your kids suffer? Would you let your kids fall? Sometimes they got to learn lessons, but you're not going to put them through something excruciating when you can help them, especially when they're doing what, they, what you're asking for them to do. You're not going to punish a child for doing what you ask them to do. Okay. Always have to get the tears in there, right? Something about the waterworks. I don't know. Maybe it was getting hugged heavy. <laughs> okay. Is there anybody else? I don't even know where we're at. Is there anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Love you back. look around. I'm going to give my arm a rest for a second. There's people watching me. You know what? You know what I would love to do? I would love to have a fair. I would love to have like a little booth set up in a place like this. I put that out to, to spirit. I looked at it and I think I was a little late, but they don't, we don't have stuff like that around here. My friend, um, Brian in Ireland, he's doing that this weekend. He's got this little booth set up and he's really good. He does things. He does it differently than me. He's a, he's a riot. Um, but I would love to have done that with him. I'd love to do this, you know, just just sit outside and, and, and be relaxed and have a little sign and let people come up and it's just so much, it's so positive and it's so fun and happy for me to do this. You're next, Mohawk? Okay. Oh, I've already done five? Oh, Mohawk, you slid in there. <laughs> okay. You slid in there. I was supposed to stick to five. Okay, you know why I got six? You know why we're doing six? Many blessings, thank you, love, love, love. Do you know why I was given six? Okay, five is big changes are rumbling through your entire existence at this time. Um, always for the better. It's best to call on spirit for um, assistance to help you keep your thoughts in the most positive um, frame of mind to help these manifestations and these changes move smoothly through, something like that. But the number six, <laughs> since we were talking about finances, the number six says, don't have your mind so focused on material concerns. Keep your thoughts focused on spirit and spirit will take care of your material concerns. I gotta show you this. Look at that car. And he just he just put the top back and lifted the top up. Isn't that cool? Did you guys see that car? It was so badass. They have really, really cool old fashioned cars that go up and down here. See my little mermaid? I don't ever wanna sell her. She's gonna be a classic. She's already a classic. I, I, why would I sell her? She's beautiful. I'm gonna have that. I'll be cruising down the road with a brand new convertible top with some sexy rims and some sexy low profile tires and, and new new leather interior, I would rather put $5,000 into that car than buy a new car. And she's gonna be a sexy little thing. Ooh, 
I take care of my stuff. Okay. Mohawk. 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 She needs this right now. Mohawk's been feeling, she's been going through some stuff, you know? So right now, can you guys all tell her that you love her and that, and that you're here for her and that you're sending her love? I would like you all to send her love. Look at that badass car. Did you see it? Right now, can everybody say that? Send her love. Say, say we love you and we are sending you positive energy and we're hoping everything works out well for you. I would appreciate if you would do that. Thank you. I got prickles in my hands. I've literally got prickles in my hands. I've, I'm feeling the energy, like you, the energy coming from you guys. My, my, my hands are on fire. So it's kind of an uncomfortable feeling. Um, it's kind of like the feeling you get when your foot falls asleep. It's prickles. That's, 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 uh, that's how I, that's when I use my Reiki. That was my Reiki energy coming through. So Mohawk, I, you should feel it. You should feel the energy because it's literally flying out the ends of my fingers. Ooh, I love it. Hugs. You're getting hugs. You're getting love. You're getting positive energy to help you in your situation. I love that. Thank you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Okay. Have faith, girl. <laughs> your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. She is keeping her head. Look at her. She's keeping her face focused up, up to spirit. She's got her hands thrown back. She is, she's leaning forward with her heart. So she's following her heart. She's, she's got her head up. It's like chin up girl. Look at her chin. Keep your chin up. That's awesome. So have faith. Keep your chin up. Throw your heart forward. Follow your heart. Um, lean into spirit. What are all the things that are happening in this card? Let's look at this. Seriously. That's her emotional waters. They're a little bit stirred up, right? But she's leaning into spirit. She's keeping her chin up. She's got her head up above water. She doesn't just have her head up above water, Mohawk. She's freaking coming out of that emotional water. She's on top of the water. She is, she is sailing. She's got her wings back, right? Her wings are supporting her. She's got her belly moving forward. This is, this is a freaking awesome card. You embrace that energy. Put yourself right in this little mermaid's position. This is you. I love that. I love the whole posturing of that, of that whole the whole message and what and what spirit is saying they're giving you a high five too they're telling you good work you know you've been asking you've been praying you've been asking for help that's a big deal sometimes people don't ask they'll sit there and crumble and fall apart but they don't ask spirit for help we need to ask for divine intervention I told her this last night I said you ask spirit to show me you show me that you're with me you know I'm asking for divine intervention and I trust that you're gonna you're gonna come through so You've been asking, and so because of that, they're saying, you've got some pretty big dreams that are going to be coming through for you. Because you have been asking, because it's working. Because when a gardener tends his, his garden, it takes a little while, right? You put the seedlings down in the garden, you don't get plants right away. you got to till it, you got to weed it, you got to water it. You put love into your garden. So when, you, when you're doing this, when you're tending to your own emotional spiritual garden, and it's not just an emotional garden, you need to tend to your spiritual garden, which talks about what is the kind of food that you're taking, the spiritual nourishment you're taking in, what are the, the words that you're listening to, what are the people that you're associating with, the, the, the energetic, the air that you're breathing is positive air, um, the emotional words that come down are positive words, um, you're accepting the love that's coming to you, all of these things are you tending your spiritual garden. And when you tend your garden, all of a sudden, little things start sprouting up, and then you start getting, oh wow, I start seeing results, right? And, and, and don't think that the little things aren't, aren't a huge. Every little thing that you notice that, that comes to you, like right now, all of those people sending you love, that energy is huge. They all directed their energy just to you. Think about that. That and you guys, I realize that you all need this love and we all need to send each other love and we should just communitively say right now, I love you, everyone, and I'm and I am sharing. Let's let's actually let's not give love or send love. Let's right now start a chain. And I am asking my father right now, my mother, father, to fill me, fill me with healing, loving energy. Here's Reiki coming. I'm asking for the Reiki masters to come right in. So I'm going to do a long distance Reiki uh, healing on everybody right now. And we're going to all connect. So I'm asking for Archangel Metatron to come in. Um, and I want him to clear and balance all of our chakras first. We're going to have him blow open our crown, our third eye, our heart, blow open our chakras. 
Um, we're asking Archang Archangel Michael to stand around us right now and protect us, to shield us while our chakras are blown open. Now we're going to ask our Father and Archangel Raphael to assist, and we're asking to us, our bodies. I'm asking for me, because I'm going to become me, being me as the channel. And if anybody else is a Reiki master, you can also be doing this. Um, I'm asking that my entire being, my entire soul, my everything be filled with as much healing and loving energy as I can possibly get from the Mother and Father. And I am going to now shoot it out, and it's going to go around the group. I'm asking, I'm going to ask right now for long distance Reiki. I'm asking, um, Shokurei, 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 Daikomayo, 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 Say Haiki, Say Haiki, um, Hanshan Ze Shonen, Hanshan Ze Shonen. So long distance Reiki healing is going out, and it's going around the circle. It's going to go from one to another to another, and it's going to go all the way around all of us. Every single one of us that are listening, it doesn't matter if I can't see your names, we're all connecting, and it's going to go from you, and the father, mother knows where. It's going to go from one to the other to the other, and as it goes, we're all connecting, and as we chart, we're, we're, we're doing the Energizer Bunny thing. We're all charging one another, and so when it gets to the next, to the next, it's building stronger and stronger. The healing, loving energy that is going in our circle right now is freaking huge I'm surprised we don't have a fire truck going right now but I have um, energy shooting up my right arm right now so it's shooting out from my right side and it's going around the circle and it's gonna come all the way back through everybody else and it's gonna come right back to me and then it's gonna shoot I'm asking for it to come and shoot out of my heart and out all the way out so everything's going out around us and it's just shooting out so we're all getting that love but I wanted Mohawk to know that that energy was at that moment directed only to her. So that is Spirit's answer to your message yesterday, the manifestation, um, to show you that you, are, that you are being heard, that you are being loved. And you accept that and you say thank you for that. Um, this is a precious time right now. You don't have to strain or push. We don't, none of us need to strain or push. We are all willing to help one another. Um, this comes from me freely. It comes from everybody in this group freely. This is what I love about this work as opposed to working on the hotline that I work on because this, these, the, all of us, we all want to love. We all want to help. We all want to improve. And, 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 and it's not just, and you, you got to trust that spirit. I mean, I, I got my angels standing right next to me. I've got all the Reiki masters that came before me. I've got my team. And my team is freaking strong as hell. I am a twin soul. And I'm not putting myself above anyone. I'm a, I, I'm a twin soul is is a, is a is a life of service. That's what it is. Um, so spirit is using the, the twins um, because our energy is very very strong. It's very very high. It's very powerful. Um, that's why it's very very important that we keep our energy clean and clear. And why it's so important that my twin and I come together because us together, what we can manifest and share to this planet is 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 healing. So I got. I'm gonna tell you. That the energy and the love that you're getting coming through me as a channel is freaking strong. It's huge because I'm a vessel. It's not coming from me. It's coming from our Father. But, at, but, but coming through a twin soul, that's our job. That is the job. So, uh, and I'm very proud of, that, of being chosen for having been able to ask. I was asked if I would accept this work and I was so honored. And that's why it's... Um, it's very important to me, and I, I appreciate you allowing me to be your channel. Um, okay, so, God, I don't know who that's coming from. Probably all of us. Um, basically, the energy that's coming is like, the Spirit is our best friend. Um, when I call my twin my best friend, he is my best friend, but he is me, and I am connected to Spirit. So spirit is my best friend and spirit is your best friend and you are never alone even when you sit in your room and you feel like you're alone and you're and you're lonely because i sit in my room alone and i feel lonely too but i know i'm not alone and i'll start talking to my mother father and and that's what gets me through so no one said it's going to be easy we we came here to chat to, to to embrace the, the dark and the light we came here to experience the duality it's, that's what the ascension process is all about is about overcoming the challenges and rising above and opening up and becoming everything that we were before we came here that's the ascension process and and the, and the more that we can lean into it and the more that we go undergo the stronger and more powerful become we become and the more we are able to affect change in this planet which is what we're doing um, so your your job Mohawk and everybody else and my job my job is to have faith in my father and my mother in the divine guidance that comes in 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 my spiritual team in my soul family um, that I will never be let down that I will I will have 
locally grown organic produce delivered to my door. <laughs> you can't get any better than that, right? Ooh, I love this. This is a, this was a really good session, I feel. This felt really, really powerful to me. I love you too. Yes, yeah, stop pushing yourself. Says, says uh, the little engine that could. <laughs> it's my mom used to call me the little engine that could. I can do self, I can do self, chug, chug, chug up the hill. When I was in Sedona, did you guys see, um, when I was there for the snow, I was, uh, I was pushing it and, and uh, I went to climb up this, um, I don't know what it was that I climbed on, it was totally covered in snow and icy and I slid on my ass and I had the biggest bruise and I laughed at myself when I did it and, I, and the message was, Sherry can't always <laughs> climb. Sherry can't always climb. Sometimes Sherry has to sit down. <laughs> Sometimes Sherry has to let somebody else help her out. So same with all of us, right? Okay, hold on. I'm dropping my cards. So I'm going to I'm going to walk over to my car. I'm going to introduce you to my mermaid. Just cuz just cuz I think she's so adorable. Anybody else have any questions or it was an awesome session. I think I have everything I need. I'm going to let you guys take a peek around. The weather cooperated, right? It was so beautiful. Let's take a look around at the stuff here. Walrus, remind me you guys, walrus. Gotta think, let, let's just think about the walrus for a second. I'm thinking about um, something about a Beatles song, the walrus. Is there something about the walrus? Something about that song. Okay, so the walrus is a wise man, I feel. He's got the whiskers, right? And he's got the big tusks, slow moving, which means patient to me, the gentle. Um, I keep getting the thing about the, um, can be very, very ferocious, but, but slow moving and, and gentle at the same time. Um, so, walrus. Ah, I wonder what the walrus is. What is the song? Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Walrus, walrus. I gotta look at it, I gotta look at it. I think this is hysterical though, that we're gonna have locally organic, grown organic product Produce, <laughs> thank you, locally delivered, delivering, locally grown organic produce to your door. <laughs> Could I get that out, please? To me, that looks like sweet peas. Oh God, you guys, how many, how many, the sweet peas, my whole, my whole trip was about sweet peas, the wild sweet peas. And it's, it's the April um, flower, the sweet pea. And that's a sweet pea. That's a trip. And carrots, gold. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is old town. Look at that restaurant. They, they have misters going in, in, in the breeze. Isn't that cool? And here's all the little, look at the pretty hills. They're so nice and pretty and green because we have had so much rain this winter. Sadly, we've had a lot of heat recently. There's my mermaid. Now look at my license plate. This is how I remember my license. Seven Angel is 969. Seven, right path. This is my mermaid. Look at my landlord's cat walking all over my car. I just washed her. See, she's got, I just did that. I just did that to my brand new paint job. <laughs> so be careful when you back up. I'm gonna let you guys look a little bit down here. I want you to see this puppy. I wish you could, didn't have to just look at cars. I'm gonna walk out in the street and let you see, hold on. Look at that dog right there black and white super cool okay you guys I think that's it I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go see my my, my grannis and my daughter isn't she gorgeous the mermaid I love her I love her isn't she sexy <laughs> okay you guys I'll let you go thanks for being here I love you peace love and light <laughs>